what's good amazing people i hope you all are doing fantastic welcome to episode three straight up with Iran. thank you so much for engaging with us on our previous episodes and thank you for returning to engage with us on this one too so yeah let's get right into it on trendy for today my people we have a story and uh, i'm feeling very different things about this story so let's first get to it so here's the story um a deputy head teacher at st andrews primary school in yamira county has been arraigned for defilement the teacher had a safe in his office where he kept family planning pill yeah i'm right family planning pill which he gave to the said pupil after defiling her and this has been happening since january when she went to get milk for her ulcers now this is the explanation this pupil alikuwa wenye high school watu wanaikia ngoma ziwa stuff from i don't know if it still happens yeah it, it does <laughs> clearly so alafu sasa she was going to get milk and when akiendea hii maziwa now kabla peo maziwa this is what was happening she was being defiled and given family planning pills wow man deputy head teacher niko na maoni lakini i think you guys better just talk to us in the comment section uh, where are we safe honestly because wow this is disturbing so on to the next story g and steve simple boy again <laughs> But my fans are simple boy don't come at me. So GNT who is Steve Simple Boy's girlfriend has come out saying that uh, that their relationship has not been authentic but for cloud chasing. Wow, Kenyan celebrities. Why do you have to cloud chase? Uko kidogo kidogo mtu ati as ilitolewa. Kidogo kidogo hapana ilikuwa cloud chasing ni music video imetoka. I don't get the need honestly I could cloud chase for 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 your content like if your content is dope people are still going to just follow you and love on your content but there are people who actually survive on cloud there are people whose brands are built on cloud so I don't know what you guys think about it but my take is I don't see the need to anyway so yes that's it for training spot today right about now straight up Yes guys and on tr- <laughs> on straight talk today we'll be talking about the psychology of friendships. Um uh, okay that the psychology of friendships. Let me pick an angle which is how friends influence who you are that's what we'll be talking about today on stray talk and with me in studio is a friend of mine so it makes it easier to talk about friendships you know so i'll let her introduce herself and then you know we'll get right into it mm. hi, hi. <laughs> african tigress yeah african warm <laughs> meeting african tigress <laughs> Yeah, so it's all African, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm African bomb and uh, all slide we come with life. I'm not like the other Okay. Um yeah, and basically I am a podcaster and I'm really glad to be in this show today. And we're talking about friendship. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, we're going to like we're going to have a development. You know <laughs> break up with friends, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we should never topic about breaking up with friends because people think breaking up new relationships too, you know. Yeah, man, but mm-hmm. we break up with friends too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And handling breaking up with friends is way I think too difficult that relationship. Okay, now before we start another whole topic, can we just <laughs> talk about how friends influence your life? Question. Show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. How true do you think that is? Uh, let me see like the wise men say, yeah? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I, um, they say uh, birds of the same feather flow together. And at some point, I think there is a bigger fact to it because, I mean, if you're heading east and I'm heading west, mm. 
how are we gonna like work together you know, how are we gonna work together because you're heading there and I'm heading there so uh, we are not aligned in one way or another so I believe that um, if we're working together we are aligned as friends so we have like a common you know interest and we will help each other at one point and uh, where we're going it's the same direction so I feel like to a greater extent mm-hmm. your your friends influence you a lot the things you do um, most of your interests okay yeah yeah they influence you but now you're saying show me your friends and i'll show you who you are is actually true from what i'm picking is your east and west analogy not necessarily uh, okay. because everyone is different in their mm. own way but at one point i'll find myself just walking the same direction as you because yeah, you're my friend yeah, you know yeah. we'll be walking the same direction mm. so i mean we are flocking together so we are, we are we're almost the same at, the, at that point okay yeah. Yeah. yeah so show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are guys what do you think about that yeah. um maybe maybe friends influence us in very different ways but i don't necessarily think who our friends are is who we also are yeah. but they kind of influence who we end up becoming at some point you know? yeah. so can we talk about the influences that friends bring to the table because to share out rule i think maybe we are who they are at some point yeah can you talk about when friends influence you how now do you know that they have influenced you um at one point i think unajonda like your friends have influenced you at that moment and you're not able to say no to them oh, wow. yeah when you're not able to like um be comfortable enough to say no to them at certain things you feel like uh, uh, there is something it's kind of an attachment at say because like you like influenced already yeah you know yeah you feel like you'll be wronging them for saying no so you're losing a part of yourself so i'd say at that moment i think you are already getting influenced yeah that's deep. but uh, there's also something so basic like how your friends talk do you ever find your play you or yourself in a place where maybe your friend uses uh, the phrase for example actual fire yeah, a lot course, and then when i realize a lot of your friends uh, you're talking and you're like okay i think this is what i have a friend who says taku gong at sultana palet semezani so anyway and as long as taku gong and i've now found myself telling people taku gong una get but i'm not you're not you that's not hey, you i can't do it actually <laughs> but she can don't mess it oh, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah i think how we talk that one also influence mm-hmm. when you start finding that you're kind of getting into their preferences whatever the kind of music they listen to in other kubamba una get influence ma beshte iko to so the psychology of friendship is a whole different yeah it's a whole wide topic but today we're talking about how friends influence us maybe positively negatively and just how to talk about that influence yeah. so yes any book unapata maybe music whatever zao uh-huh. not like uh-huh. whatever music genre zao you're starting to love and then to yeah what about like uh, the the start uh, the type of people they like the thing the people wow. that I don't like this person and then you find yourself also like getting that um are they not liking this person because what may were hurt before ama it's just they don't like for example i'm not being tribalistic or something or just being tribal maybe your friends don't like lords and then now you find yourself not liking lords actually like um maybe at time ifanya kitu there's something we did and then at that moment they're like they don't like this person uh, you as a friend is it even your part to also feel the same way i think it depends on why they don't like that person okay. say it's your ex okay mm-hmm. just because you when you and that person are dating we were friends or no mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and now that you've broken up it doesn't necessarily mean i can't say hi to them 
But also it depends on how you broke up. Ndo maana nasema it depends on the situation. Sometimes your friends enemies are outright your enemies for the code to be as in for the friendship to be maintained. Okay. And sometimes whatever happened between them is so petty that you really don't also want to get into that mud. So I think there's a very thin line of katikati. Okay. So we'll, kuna gray hapo what do you guys think comment section I try to engage it has to be because me honestly if it's you have i been have you been in a position where your friends with somebody your friend is not friends with ama wali uko sana personally me as chukuli and give it to personally like um you are not friends and um I vibe with them. Mm-hmm. Like I don't find a reason to just be with them. Like, for me it's clear. Like, what if this person body shamed me for example, ama they trolled me and then now if whatever they did to me is something nikisikia unaongea ni kuna like okay. Okay, okay, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you depend. So they they think that's a big influence because if my my friends I think their feelings will matter to me, you know. Yeah. So I think that's an influence to that mm-hmm. a certain type of psychology because uh, your 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 feelings also affect my relations with others sometimes. Mm-hmm. Because now in a situation where someone did some that shit on you, I start feeling some type of way I'm not really yeah. feel good about them. I'm mm-hmm. not related to them because I think yeah, they hurt you. So. Yeah. How about do your friends influence who you are as a person in the sense that they can build or break something in you in your personality in you as a person and i'll give an example of self esteem unaweza kwa you didn't you were not very comfortable maybe with your body and then you have these friends who have made you feel nice about yourself and then now you find yourself you very free with conversations about your body you're very confident you're all out there because influence while you find out feel pretty about yourself and then now it has gotten to you and you're like oh, yeah. have you been in such a place Yeah, personally I feel like I am very personal with my friends mm. because the one thing that um we don't realize is the line between acquaintances and friends mm. and um for me I have like I don't even have a circle yet it's just a tiny <laughs> dot <laughs> it's a tiny dot okay. and uh, for me I believe that um for you to be my friend mm. we have to be intellectually and um, in every way developing each other so i'm not going to stay some my wife i don't feel good because if you're working together i got to grow so for me i believe that yeah people around me should uh, help me build myself up as i build myself up. and as i help them build themselves up. yeah so for me i think that's a big influence the people i let in are a major influence in my personal life because if i let you in i'm i'm this kind of a person who i'm i'm either diving deep or not swimming at all so, yeah great, great. so a different question yeah show me your friends and i'll show you your future okay, okay. <laughs> what do you think ha <sighs> Tell me your friends, tell me your future. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Because at one point, the one thing you may learn about life is you'll have to let go of the people you love. As in, you will think you love people so much that you will plan a future with them and you'll have castles built. <laughs> okay. I once had this uh, friendship we've been known each other for 10 years. Yeah. And at one point, I think we thought, damn, Oh, that we were planning that like, we were going for like wines and uh, all those things we were planning but i got to a place that for our growth to take place personal growth we had to let go of each other so i be, i don't believe in that uh, show me your friend and i'll show you a future you connect with different people at different stages of life okay. so you get to this stage of life and you meet a certain personality and uh, for you to to create space in your life you have to let go of some of the things that are not serving you or some of the people so uh, if it has come to that point mm-hmm. that person is not serving you you just have to let go peacefully okay. okay but also i think 
There are two sides of the coin when it comes to you show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Because you see the way to miss him out, friends influence who you become. Yeah. I read somewhere that you're you're the average of the five people around you. So I uh, taking from that is also like your future is dependent on who's around you because now they are influencing you also. <laughs> so I kind of feel like yeah, it plays some roles somehow because now, I, if we imagine, I think you know somebody who, um, example, Una jambe nga umse kama ange patana na umse ange kwa in a very different place. Maybe ali patana na wase kupinga shere sana. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden there's a drastic change in their life. They are no longer doing life only doing shere. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think maybe maybe not. What do you guys think on the comment section? <laughs> Please tell us. Die educators. Tell us. Please. Yeah, because you're also figuring right. out this whole friendship influencing and campus. Una jambe ni. I don't know. <laughs> it's something. What's the word? I kind of feel like friends just influence you either way, negatively or positively. But you can't be that one island, any. There's no influence you pick from your friends. Una get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, kuna you. It lazima to influence it akam. So guys, <laughs> because of that, to show us your history, mu judge apo kwa comment section and tell us you. To me, what you get room at upper ama you actually think friends influence you? Have you been influenced before? Have you influenced others? Have you seen something in somebody that you feel like wow they picked that from me? How they talk, how you know, all those things. So right about now, let's move to G Sports. All they'll kill you when you sleep and blame it on your sex life. Yes, now, guys, and on G Sport today we're going to be playing uh, <laughs> questions game, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, she'll ask me questions about myself. I'll ask her questions about herself. This is, as we had said in previous episodes, to help you guys know us better. People who sit on this couch, people, <laughs> people who are on straight up beats, the host beat, my guest. Yeah, something like that. It can be never have I ever yeah, 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 yeah. What do you prefer? Um, I can start. Wow, Kisha, Kisha, Macho. It's about to get hot. <laughs> well, we think I can start with um, how to say. And um, in this, Ooh. in this, I, I, I'd start off with um, that's what I think we are all say. Don't worry. Okay. I think everyone. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> I think everyone has the level of madness, okay. and so I, I want to see the level of madness people have. Okay. Mm. So, um, in this one, I'd love to know like some of the things, and I'll be asking how you say. Mm. Uh, yeah. Like my question will always start with how you say. Yeah, I guess okay. Let's do it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Aha. Um, I'm not sure I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. So let's start with this. Uh-huh. Yeah, What's the most yeah, insane yeah, yeah, thing yeah, you've ever done? Insane? Yeah. Wow. On the previous episode, I said, <laughs> I've always been a child of the system of fear doing things. Uh-huh. Mostly crazy things. Uh-huh. Most of the time. So insane. I can't think of one crazy, crazy thing I've done. I don't know. Come honestly. on, that's a lie. That's a lie. You like to ask me, right? Thank you. You're my right. parents are watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, everyone is mad. Okay, how you? We are made of mad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes inspired by. <laughs> okay, just tell me, ma. Um, how you saying how much? Can you, can you please answer faster than me for something? I think the one insane thing is I sit down and I'm like, oh, God, you insane. I lost my phone in a club. And, um, I went to the bouncer and told the bouncer that I'm going to search it. 
But you didn't still do find it for me. I but I had to make this of it. I mean, I mean, it was just like, oh God. Wow. Umeni pati ideal kisi mapi buasi mo. Where character development? Ah, campus. We have a whole show for you. I think for me, how insane is um. Nili biwa and then now I ili, I was in shock so I ran nili kwanoga so I ran after niki ambati oh no men devi men devi too I ran after people in a towel akadami kai we aki ma beshi zangu na jori story akadami kai we moi but ili ni hit kabla ni pata ni na tuengi what the who are you doing so yeah how insane okay well well well. Um, How insane uh-huh. have you been? Uh-huh. When drunk, like what's the crazy thing? I feel like the difference is what the crazy thing is that man. Okay. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> you can play this this game with us in the comment section. Unaweza kukijibu tu kwa akili yako kule. Ama unaweza tuandikie hapo how insane are you? What are the crazy things you've done when you're drunk? Let me see. I think oh. <laughs> I remember I think it's not really much but when I think of it uh, it's an extreme for me mm-hmm. I, I I got so lonely in the club and I was like ah, we all are boring mm-hmm. I'm going to the DJ and I went there mm-hmm. and I'm like DJ me not talk about MC Wala and I'm like yo guys what's up <laughs> Okay. Yo, what's popping? So the whole night I was commentating the crowd and it was like Whoa, whoa, whoa. People love this. People are not even like that for drag. I mean for drag. How did you feel after that? Well, I didn't realize I was shouting until the next day people were getting me and like, "Why? Then only go pale bo na una MC pale." I'm like <laughs> that was not me. The sun is up for a different one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, what's the one in Saint Bot you've had in Amatatu? Wow. <laughs> I've never thought what the fuck I think I can kill this person. Now the problem was me ni ko ko mat. I love him say ni me deliberately me na penda ku kambele. Ko ko the driver. So ni me ka kati kati. I see kati kati kwa dirisha. Then this person is over insisting. Ame kuja ko like unaweza kaka kati kati. I'm like dude, the reason I start here is because this is what is comfortable, you know. And then I I don't move. So anaingia katikati and then anaanza kuchana. What? <laughs> yani to it was like an hour uh, whatever drive. N- n- I was so uncomfortable. Alafu anachana akikupea story. By the way guys, so chani to in peace. Asa na una vitu za green. Una ni pesa. Yeah, I was offended. Niko tu nili jam ni kutaka kill me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the crazy sort of part. So too. you kill them. That was the insane. Hey, eh, Nico, I just wanted them off my space, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the only way I thought I could do it at that point is just kill them. <gasps> With a dagger or what? I don't know. I didn't even have an idea. That's why it's insane. Because it, it, it didn't have a plan. Yeah, you know. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay, so. What's the craziest thought you had about a girlfriend of yours but you never told them? Where? A a girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. Is it that is not insane yeah. it's so normal to yeah. me. Okay. Okay. Damn. You just say it. We, we will gauge the level of insanity. Of insanity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's for us to do. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 I think the one in same thing mm-hmm. I've thought about a girlfriend of mine yeah. mm-hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd love to just um, uh, 
okay. I, I'd love to know to the Lord. Just open the heart of them and just see how like it feels inside them. It's so warm on the outside. So okay. 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 So. I have the same question. Mm. Yeah. So that is the Mama no baby we do gonna me like what's the level of insane mm. you'd get to get to your dreams? On a scale of one to so I think that I do anything and by anything, uh-huh. okay. Now, anything is just anything. Now, what's the one thing you do? Like, the one thing you say, it depends on what's standing on my way for me to get there. Okay, let me ask now this question in a very simple way. Um, what's the craziest thing you're willing to do to get you to well, I don't like being known, so... <laughs> Not in terms of a personality or yourself. Uh-huh. Um, basically, you're to get to your dreams. What's the craziest thing you do? Wow. I'll answer that on the next show, guys. <laughs> I'll answer wow. that on the next show. Jo- time's up. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I hope your time's up. And... Uh, I'll let her give you her social media handles and then that's it for today, people. Yeah, so you can get me on my Instagram page. I'm African Mom. No, I'll get to my Jotto, Moto, Moto. And my Twitter is at underscore African Mom. Yeah. It's all African in here. African Mom, African Tech. Hmm. <laughs> you all are not ready so anyway thank you so much for staying with us at least until this part of the show people if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe it's free yeah leave a comment engage with us play the game with us let's get to know the same things the crazy things mumifanya in your lives also okay Thank you so much, silent viewers. Last time in our previous video, we encouraged you to on Gana CC and it's actually happening. So yes, yeah, silent viewers, let's do this. Yeah, to And everybody else, let's engage. Follow me at Miran, just Miran on IG. And yes, basically on all social media platforms I mean and uh, no cap TV on all social media platforms. Talk to us, give us your suggestions on what you would love to see on the next show, what you'd love us to talk about. Yeah, amazing things like those. So until next time guys remember to stay sane. We'd love to see you on our next one. Shut up, first you was palette, 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 then the world chuckle, 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 then the world cut a shock, patches, thinking about the masses, but the masses keep on singing how to lamba na kunyonya like we all porn stars, na ma pero wana lenga like they don't know what you saying, bruh. Think about it, nani ni wasazi wasahi, bruh. Yeah. So, daddy no CJ, mama no BJ, baby no what baggy, we do gonna me by like, only to the tiny pencil we put.